Quinta do Valado, built in 1716, is one of the oldest and most famous properties in the Douro Valley. Located in both banks of the Coco River, a tributary to the Douro River near Peso da Régua, it once belonged to the legendary Dona Antonia Adelaide Ferreira and remains until the present day in the possession of her descendants. The three cousins, now in charge of Quinta do Valado's destinies, are all descendants in the fifth generation of Dona Antonia. João Ferreira Álvares Ribeiro and Francisco Ferreira are the managers, and Francisco Olozabal is the winemaker. Dona Antonia Adelaide Ferreira, also known as Dona Antonia, or simply Ferreirinha, is one of the great personalities in the history of port wine and the Douro region. Hugely energetic, at one point she managed about two dozen quintas, some of which are amongst the most famous in the region, and was, for many years, the largest exporter of port wine. Her reputation was due as much to her ability as a businesswoman and strong character, as to her generosity and the way she assumed her responsibilities of citizenship as a Duriense, a Douro region inhabitant. During the worst moments in the history of the region, as a result of the vineyard pests, bad harvests, or falling prices, she always came to the need of her workers and employees and to the Douro farmers. Dona Antonia Adelaide Ferreira fought against the lack of support from successive governments, unconcerned with the problems of the Douro region and its wines, struggled against vine diseases such as phylloxera, and went to England to obtain information about the most modern and effective means to fight this plague. Dona Antonia was considered a visionary for investing in planting new vineyards in areas which were unexplored until then and outside the Douro demarcated region at the time. Dona Antonia went down in history as one of the greatest Portuguese entrepreneurs. It was on the bicentenary of the birth of Dona Antonia Adelaide Ferreira that Quinta do Valado decided to bottle the very old port, Adelaide Tributa, vinified while she was still alive and in tribute to her life and work in the Douro region. It is an extremely rare wine produced in 1866 during the life of Dona Antonia from pre phylloxera vines whose grapes were trodden by foot. It is a very dark wine, amber in color, and with a baume of almost 14 degrees, resembling a pure essence. According to the producer, these two barrels were the remains of an initial batch of the five barrels produced that year. Due to the sheer quality of the wine and facing the inevitable evaporation over time, the family of the producer always took extreme care and attention over several generations, never blending or diluting it with brandy and alternatively chose a process of concentration of what remained. This process, in a natural manner and throughout time, concentrated, highlighted, and made even more impressive the initial characteristics and qualities of the wine. This is a wine for collectors seeking unique experiences. This extraordinary port is gifted with a seductive color, reminiscent of amber, or even mahogany, with greenish streaks as the glass is shaken, a clear signal of the wine's age. The aroma is highly complex and rich, with numerous nuances of dried fruits, liqueurs, iodine and spices, whilst never ceasing to be fresh and harmonious. Once tasted, the wine becomes sublime. Extremely rich, unctuous, concentrated, dense but in perfect harmony with its acidity, bringing it an endless and explosive aftertaste, giving the impression that the wine does not want to go away. We are in the presence of a unique wine, very rare. After the first tasting, it was decided that this wine should not have any correction or refreshment, and so it was bottled exactly under the same condition as it was in the casks. The packaging for the Tributa bottle was designed by architect Francisco Vieira de Campos, who was responsible for the architecture of both the new winery of Quinta do Valado completed in 2009, and the wine hotel, 
completed in 2012. The design and structure of the box is based on the Quinta's aging cellar, whose interior resembles a tunnel and the exterior a curbstone coated in bars of slate, the predominant rock in the soils of the Douro Valley.